right, ladies and gentlemen, someone has asked to show as I lay the card out. This is the month of April. It is the Aquarian business reading. Let's see what is transpiring. I see you Aquarians are standing up that justice is here. Um, that is going to be balancing out some sort of a situation. I see the energy of temperance is coming in as you begin the month. Um, the energy of temperance is here. Um, and that energy is uh, and the energy of the five of pentacles. So I see that some of you are going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a legal issues that was there. Then I see a message is coming in. If you were fired or you have lost your work, I see a message is coming in. A payout is coming in. I see a lot of opportunity is going to be coming your way. So um, this is a, um, really, really going to be good. A whole lot of opportunities is going to be coming your way. All right. A whole lot of emotional stability at the workplace is going to be here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the reason why I don't pull cards and camera because I got to align it. Um, so um, let's see what is on top of you. Um, the four of cups, the four of cups. So some sort of a situation is uh, um, worrying a lot of you, the energy of the four of cups. Uh, then we see the seven of pentacles. So some of you, and there could be some sort of a worrisome sit situation that is transpiring with a project. All right. But there's no need to worry. It's going to be okay. As you are leaving this month, I see, um, some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in. Um, some of you could be leaving a job. This is, uh, um, the energy of, uh, the three, um, of, uh, um, leaving a job and going on a new journey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's look deeper in these readings. So, um, someone has uh, um, asked um, on the website if I could do the layouts of the cards online. Here we go. All right, so when we have this energy of justice, this is about some sort of a um, issues that was going on is going to be now balanced out. It is really positive. So you Aquarians that was having some sort of an imbalance situation, this um, period is going to be good because when justice comes up, it's about fairness. So some of you Aquarians have been dealing with some unfair issues on, on the work floor and you're going to be um, balancing this out, whether it's affecting you or it's affecting someone else. So, then we have the energy of temperance in the first week. Now that is dealing with a Sagittarian or a Virgo. Um, so a lot of you have to, um, there was some sort of uh, un, unfair situation that a Sagittarian and a Virgo have done. I see that um, you guys are going to be making sure that you bring back fairness in the situation, okay? So I see a lot of you are, have to find patience to deal with a Virgo and a Sagittarian in the first week. Whoever this Virgo and the Sagittarian is, they have created some sort of an unfair game. And now I see that you guys are trying to resolve this issue and is trying to bring back some sort of a balance in your world. And this is going to be good. There was some sort of an unfair play of a Sagittarian and a um of a Sagittarian and a um Virgo and you're trying to bring back some sort of a balance. In the second week you have the five of pentacles. This is Mercury in Taurus. Some of you could be having some sort of a communication issue with your boss. It is in the reverse. But for business people this is going to be good. Some sort of a um, pay is coming out if clients had hold you the pay is going to be coming in if clients had had some sort of a credit that they needed to pay up it is going to be coming in um, some sort of a communication that I see um, if you're communicating also it's going to be very good you're going to be making a lot of money then when we look we see um, a lot of you could be paying out Okay, because this page, whenever the page of Pentacles comes, it's all about um, um, you're paying some sort of a bill 
um, you know, paying payroll, that sort of a situation, paying for some sort of a cost, um, some sort of a credit, some sort of a cost that you have created um, and uh, um, you're paying. So you could be working in the accounts department, that sort of a thing. So a lot of you are going to be busy setting up payroll or setting up some sort of a credit system or some sort of a pay system. OK, then um, for self-employed freelancers and that sort of a thing, maybe you have to be paying extra taxes. Um, that could be also a situation for some of you. Then we are looking at the seven of cups and the seven of cups energy. It is always about uh, Venus in Scorpion, Venus in Scorpion. So I see a lot of you um, are going to be collaborating with a Scorpion, whatever there was that was going on. A lot of you are going to be bringing back fairness um, for a Scorpion on the work floor. OK, so um, I see a lot of people are going to be also gathering around you, Aquarians, and is going to be supporting you and is going to be working with teamwork in order to bring back some sort of a fairness to the work floor where there was um, a Virgo and a Sagittarius that created a whole lot of um, unsavorable situation. And now you're bringing back fairness um, to imbalance problems that was going on because of a Virgo and a Sagittarius. So I see a lot of people are going to be showing you guys teamwork. A lot of people are going to be collaborating. A lot of people are going to be want, be want, wanting to be on the team of uh, um, the uh, Aquarians. All right. So let's see what we have crowning your reading. We have the energy of the Four of Cups. Okay. So the energy of the Four of Cups is there is some sort of a secrecy. And um, they're going to be recognizing some sort of a secrecy um, that a Virgo and a Sagittarian have. And um, whatever they have done, I see that they're going to be um, 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 pulled up to pay some sort of an expense. OK, so a Virgo and a Sagittarian, whatever they have done and collaborated with each other to do, I see that you're going to be the one that is going to be speaking up to them. And um, letting them be aware, aware that whatever they have done was uh, unfair and was this this dishonest, and you're going to be trying to bring balance um, back uh, um, on the work floor and with people. Some of you it could be that you did business with a Virgo and a Sagittarian, and they had created some sort of a secrecy. They were all in some sort of a secrecy there, and you can recognize so. Uh, um, that the secret is now out because the four of cups is the moon in Cancer. So um, this energy of the moon in Cancer, some of you, um, some sort of a secrecy on the work floor that has to do with a Virgo, a Sagittarian um, is going to be coming out and a Taurus, a Virgo, a Sagittarian and a Taurus is going to be coming out. The center of your reading is all about... Uh, this energy of the five of pentacles, Mercury in Taurus. So some of you, a whole lot of meetings or some of you are going to be joining um, um, a power with your boss in order to resolve a situation what a Virgo and a Sagittarian have done. The seventh in pentacles is in your stability and we see Saturn in Taurus, Saturn in Taurus. And the Saturn in Taurus is bringing back discipline, um towards a group of people um and discipline because if you notice when the energy of justice comes up uh, and discipline so what we're recognizing is that there was some sort of a secrecy um that a Virgo and a Sagittarian have and I see that they're going to be fired because the seven of uh, pentacles is Saturn in Taurus and if they were managers or that sort of a thing, I see that manager is going to be working with a lot of you in order to fire them because of what they have done. So um, you Aquarians is working together with managers or you could be working together with a Taurus, but it is as if a whole lot of managers are going to be coming up together to collaborate and let them know that whatever they have done, they have to repay the money and then they're going to be fired. Okay. So um, that is going to be a huge um, situation that is going to be coming up because you Aquarian decide to really step in and, and recognize what these people have done and 
you're going to be bringing back a balance. The three of wands, sun in Aries, the three of wands, sun in Aries. And this situation with the energy of the sun in Aries that is transpiring um, is that uh, a lot of you, there is no happiness on the work floor because uh, um, these people have created a whole lot of problems on the work floor, which leave you without an, an, any happiness. There is no um, positive energy on the work floor or with your business because these people have created a whole lot of problems. And I see they're going to be fired because, um, you know, it's as if boss, you're communicating. You can see here that a lot of you are communicating with people, um, higher ups in authority. And they're saying, no, um, they need to be fired or um, they need to pay some sort of a fine and punishment for what they have done. So this month, you can see the cross in the center and it's about a whole lot of secrecy. Some of you could be also finding out that a, a, um, a cancer along with a Taurus um, had some sort of a secret here, or a cancer that is a boss uh, had some sort of a secrecy and now it has cost the company a whole lot of money because uh, um, this cancer boss uh, have to pay um, um, a, a former co-worker for what they have done because some sort of a information came out. So that is creating a whole lot of animosity around you and a whole lot of animosity on the work floor and i see that a whole lot of you are going to be recognizing jesus you know these people need to act as if they're adults um you know they have cost the company so much money and i see a lot of you are going to be recognizing how selfish there was some sort of a selfishness of this cancer uh, manager a lot of you are going to be recognizing that out of uh, the ego that this cancer manager has created so much problem. A lot of you who have a cancer in your team, I see the question about this cancer in your team is going to be the highlights of uh, um, this month because a lot of you managers are going to be looking at something what a cancer have done and is going to be trying to balance this out. However, way they're going to be balancing this out, I see that they're going to be recognizing um, what this cancer have created and that a cancer had a whole lot of secrets. So um, this situation is definitely going to be coming up. So whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of people are going to be really, really seeing some sort of a play that a cancer did. And they're now going to be recognizing the unfair play what a cancer have created, all right? So um, be aware of this. Let's look at uh, um, the outcomes of this month. Leaving this month, um, you have the energy of the three of wands, okay? And this energy of the three of wands, it has to do with the sun in Aries, and there's no happiness and joy because it is in the reverse. There is absolutely no happiness and joy um, that is happening and transpiring. The sun in Aries is uh, not there because there has been some sort of a problem that was created. So I see changes uh, um, with this energy with the sun in Aries because they're now recognizing that some real unsensitive um, situation was created around you guys. And I see a lot of you guys are going to be recognizing uh, um, what was happening so um it is for the rest a good month um however you look at this this is really coming up as a very very positive month uh, for a whole lot of you aquarian and um you know this the the the, the center of the month is this uh, five of pentacles and it is it, it is about communication with your boss communication with people in management uh, um, because they have recognized uh, that there was some sort of a undesirable situation that has transpired. And people are now going to be recognizing this and it's going to be trying to bring back some form of balance uh, in order to um, create some sort of a stability. So expect uh, this to be happening, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, a open and closed book. People are now... 
um, seeing what was happening in transpiring and you are going to be a, um, a good Aquarians. There is no need for you Aquarians to be worried about anything. In the month of April, it's as if uh, um, justice, um, fairness is on your side and you're going to be showing that up. I got to go. But if you'd like to see the extended of this reading, just use the first abundant and you can accelerate the extended of this reading. I got to go. Please show your love by thumbs up. I love you guys. Namaste.